The Cable Network Lifetime is airing a docuseries of the army singer R. Kelly. It's obvious that R. Kelly, in his own words, back in 2012 when he sat down with Tavis Smiley, he said that um, he admitted that he had been molested as a child. And that he had been molested several times. In the first episode of the R. Kelly documentary, I saw that his brother, his older brother, or younger brother, says he was also sexually molested as a child. So at least two of the R. Kelly siblings suffered, suffered sexual molestation and trauma at a very young age. Now that in no way is to mitigate anything that R. Kelly has done. What he's done to these women, these young women that he dealt with, is sick. That doesn't absolve him. Just because you're sick, that doesn't absolve you of anything. I believe a number of people are sick. The acts that they commit, I don't think a, a sane, well-adjusted person who was hugged appropriate number of times, who was treated uh, with humanity and respect and loved, I don't think they would have committed those at all either. But that doesn't mean they're not held accountable for their own actions. And I'm sure if you follow this story at all about R. Kelly and the countless women that that he has he has been with who are who are that he started dating or sleeping with at 13 young ages like 14, 15, 16, 17, he himself being at the time 30, 35, 40. I mean just it's just sickening is what it is. But there's a couple things about this I want to bring to light. And one of those is that this is not only a problem, and uh, uh, this is not only an indictment of R. Kelly, who says, hey, this is all fabrications. These people are trying to smear me. Because he spoke out recently about this documentary. He said he's going to sue Lifetime. He's going to sue these people who are lying about him. So R. Kelly denies the allegations. But if the documentary is true, I have no reason to believe it isn't. If it's true, this is not only an indictment of R. Kelly, it's not only an indictment of our justice system, it's an indictment of our society. See, we live in a world where people are so poor and broke and struggling and have stars in their eyes and they're taught to look up and be a star. Everybody wants to be a star and, and these people are willing to do whatever they can to be next to stars. They're willing to do whatever to be next to stars because of our culture, obsession with stardom, with money and stardom and fame. We got videos of kids setting themselves on fire to be YouTube stars. No, literally on fire. I'm not saying that R. Kelly is not responsible, he is, but I'm saying if you don't recognize that we have a culture problem in this country where young people don't value themselves as much as they value fame and celebrity and stardom and money, then you're missing the boat. That's what I think about when I look at this story. I also think about the people that will blame the girls <sighs> look fellas we have to we should be able to look in the mirror and hold ourselves accountable for what we do hold ourselves accountable for for how we move about this world how we treat not only uh, women but men our kids our parents how we move about the, this this life that we have, as temporary as it is, and we look look at it and say, you know what, I could have done a better job. I could do a better job. I could be a better person. I can treat people in a better way. Our culture has been toxic towards women. It's also been toxic to others, we know this. But sometimes, folks, we should have the ability to look at an issue and say, right now we're going to talk about the ladies. And right now we're going to talk about black ladies. 
we're going to talk about our girls. Without saying, but what about black men? Or without saying, what about white guys? Or Latino women? Or transgenders? Or Jews? Or Catholics? Or little people? Or anybody else? Can't we just sometimes look at one thing at a time and deal with that because it's heavy enough just looking at that? You know, it's disrespectful. Dude, if I tell you I got a headache for you to start talking about your toe, I respect you have a toe ache, but right now we're talking about my migraine, dog. All I'm saying is our society has a problem. We value this shit too much. That's why those young girls were conditioned to do whatever to be next to R. Kelly, Robert Kelly. And we have a problem that we can't look at these young girls and just look at that and with this situation and not compare it to anybody else and just say, what can we do about that? How do we help solve that? Instead of going, hey, well, hey, look, uh, let's look over here at the, at the thing over here because the thing over here is just as bad as the thing over there. And when you look at the thing over there, you end up blaming the thing over there. And then we, and that's just, that's just wrong. It's wrong. It's, it's simple-minded. It's selfish. This is not the Olympus to see who has it worse. This is like we are human. We have empathy. We care. We may not have all the answers. And you know what? We may not understand everything. Right? But we can listen. We can listen. That's all. And we listen and say, all right, black woman, tell me, what's it like to be you? How does it feel? How do you feel when this happens? How did you feel when that happened? It's okay to do that and just shut the hell up up and let her talk and you ain't got to understand it right away it don't have to make sense to you right away stop judging everything and equating it to the worst case scenario all right well there are what about the girls that lie? What about the girls that wanted it? What about the girls that... See? Stop judging everything and making it so that we have wiggle room out of it. We need... Sometimes we need to learn. Sometimes we need to just learn and say, you know what? Let me just learn something. Let me not defend me. Because let me tell you something. There are some guys you don't want to defend. right there's some guys for which there is no defense you think all guys are like you that's what it is I know you're not evil man but you think all guys are like you you think just because you would never do such and such that there's no way God would do this because you are looking through your own eyes but maybe if you have been abused at a very young age Maybe you'd be different. So the R. Kelly documentary, I said I wasn't going to watch it. I only watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. I may watch a little bit more of it. But I'm pretty sure it's not, even if I watch the whole thing three, four times, I don't think it's going to change my perception. And that perception is, one, we value money way too much. We don't value humans. We live in a culture that's obsessed with notoriety, fame, success, money, and power to the point where it damages our children to the point where they're willing to do whatever for it as well. And number two, sometimes we need to just shut up and just listen. And, it, and, 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 and not, form, not form an opinion, not form a defense to everything. You're not on trial, sir. You're not on trial. All right. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out tonight's show. I appreciate you. As we stated earlier, become a member of the Tim Black Wolf Pack by going to patreon.com, Tim's Take Live. Also, you can find me here on YouTube and uh, join my Wolf Pack there. I got a comedy uh, comedy DVD. Yeah, I feel better when I talk about it. I got a comedy DVD called Racist People Suck, right? Go to racistpeoplesuck.com and check that out. Where I talk about politics and race and other stuff too. It's, it's great. I think it's funny. Uh, everybody who's brought it, who has written me about it, has told me they loved it. So won't you get it, you download it, you get it like that real quick to your inbox and have a laugh on me. Start your start your new year off with some, some laughs. All right. I'll see you guys some more right here at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more of the Tim Black Show. Shout out to my Wolfpack. Shout out to the Truth Bomb activists. Shout out to Suzanne Murphy, the whole crew. Thank you guys for tuning in. Tough, tough, tough.